What is up? It is your boy President Q from 2K Central. Here to you guys with the final episode to the My Career Planner. And this is for the Power 4 position. Finally, we get to the biggest complimentary piece in the NBA. Now, a decade ago, we had people like Tim Duncan, Chris Webber, Kevin Garnett, and more. But the Power 4 position seems to have changed. Power forwards are now looked as extensions of the small forward or the center. You gotta either be athletic or you gotta be skilled in some kind of way. You also want to be able to complement the weaknesses of either your center or your small forward. Now I'm going to try to get through this one as quick as I can because we have 19 teams for the power forward, one of the weaker positions in the NBA I might say. But you can help bolster somebody's lineup by being that four that they need. First up we got the Atlanta Hawks. Now this one's pretty easy, I mean you can pretty much take almost anybody's spot on this team without any kind of hassle, but you'll be able to play with a brand new rookie, Trey Young. Next up we got the Brooklyn Nets, another team that you can take pretty much anybody's position. I believe you'll be taking DeMar Carroll, I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely an easy spot for you to take. You'll be playing with D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwid. I kind of put the Celtics here, but I'm not sure. Um, much like the Lakers, they're very positionless right now, so I'm not sure who the has slotted at the four this year i'm hoping it's morris but i'm not quite sure so this one's kind of a question mark but if you really want to play with the celtics you could go for it next up charlotte you'll be taking marvin williams spot playing with the likes of kimba walker and nicholas batoon so you have some decent shooting around you if you're a slasher Next up, the Dallas Mavericks, and I hate to say it, but you gotta take Big 41 spot. You know, Big Dirk, he's getting a little bit older, and maybe you can uh, put him in the bench position, and you'll finally be able to play with Dennis Smith Jr., Luka Doncic, and of course, DeAndre Jordan. Now that's a team right there. Next up, we got the Denver Nuggets. I'm not quite sure about this, because Paul Millsap is still pretty good. I mean, he was injured last season, but I definitely believe that this year, he's probably gonna be like a low 80, high 70, so you could definitely take his spot and you'll be playing with Jokic, Murray and of course Harris. Next up this is a pretty easy one the Houston Rockets there's not too much competition here I mean you'll be playing with Carmelo, Chris Paul and James Harden and Clint Capella. You actually should be able to win a ring it with this team if you slot yourself at the four position and it should be pretty fun. Lobs everywhere or bricks, depending on the night. Next up, Indiana, you'll be playing with Tyreek Evans, Darren Collison, Victor Oladipo, and Miles Turner. And if you don't see the trend, power forward is usually the weakest position in the NBA, and it's amazing how many teams you can play on and just make them so much better if you're an elite power forward. Next up, we got the Lakers. Um, I'm still not quite sure about this. I know you'll probably be taking Kyle Kuzma's spot, or maybe, I, don't, I hope it's not LeBron. I don't think you'll ever get that spot, but I'm not quite sure who's gonna be at the four in my might be Brandon Ingram, it might be LeBron, it might be Kyle Kuzma, but uh, hopefully it's Kyle Kuzma because he's only really 80. He's still pretty good, and I would prefer you to be a center for this team, if anything, but if you want to be a power forward, then you can. Next up, a pretty easy one, Memphis Grizzlies. You'll be taking J. Michael Green's spot. You'll be playing with Mike Conley and Mark Gasol, and you should be able to make the playoffs with this team. Next up, we got my team Miami right here. You'll probably be taking James Johnson's spot. Now, I love James Johnson, but he's he's got nothing on you, homie. You're, you're a beast. Basically, you're going to be playing with Hassan Whiteside, Goran Dragic, and maybe Dwayne Wade at the two-guard spot. I'm not quite sure who they're going to have. The Miami Heat lineup is looking really weird, but hopefully you got D-Wade throwing you lobs and dishing it out to you if you're a shooter. Next up, we got Minnesota. Easily their weakest position on the floor is the power forward position. You should just knock Taj Gibson right out of this spot pretty quickly within the season. And you'll be playing with some elite players, Jimmy Butler, Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, and of course, Jeff T. And like I said before, I played for the Timberwolves and I absolutely loved playing with them. And I think you would too at the power forward position. Next up is the Pelicans. I'm not quite sure if Anthony Davis is gonna be the power forward. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be playing center and you're gonna have either Miritich or Julius Randle starting at the four. Take them right out of that spot and give Anthony Davis the four that he deserved. Next up is the OKC Thunder. I don't know why this chart put Paul George at the power forward position. That would be really stupid. If anything, the lineup's gonna be Russell Westbrook, Andre Roberson, Paul George, and Steven Adams. And you? Oh my, oh, that's disgusting. You are gonna, you're gonna win rings every year, at least for four years straight. And next up is Philly. I would actually say the starting lineup's pretty stacked, but the four positions, one of their weaker ones out of the five. I mean, that's up for debate, but not really. Dario Saric and JJ Redick are probably the two most expandable spots within the Philadelphia 
starting in line. And yeah, just bump Dario Sarge right out there and you could become either an athletic finisher, a post scorer, or even a sharpshooter and make this team elite. Next up is the Phoenix Suns. I mean, this is pretty easy. You'll be playing with Devin Booker and of course DeAndre Ayton and you have a shooter in Trevor Ariza. Now it's the Portland Trailblazers. Easily the weakest position on the floor. Power forward. You definitely want to take Amino right out of that spot and you'll be playing with McCollum, Lillard, and Nurkic. That's a pretty nice lineup. Uh, Sacramento, you'll be taking Zach Randolph's spot. I mean, this isn't really a good team to play for unless you really like Sacramento and their jerseys and their program and De'Aaron Fox, but otherwise, nah, I mean, that's up to you. You'll probably be taking Marvin Bagley's spot or Zach Randolph, depending on who it is, but you know, hey, you're better than them. And finally, we're ending off with the Washington Wizards. I mean, come on, this team is almost built for you to be put right here. You got the White Howard, John Wall, and Bradley Bill. Man, I guess I'll see you in the first seed because the Washington Wizards are an amazing fit for any kind of power forward. So yeah, we are finally done with the series. This is crazy. So now for NBA 2K, and hey, you can even apply this to NBA Live. You have a place where you can go. Now you have options, homie, at least three of them. So let me know what teams you end up playing for down below to be honest i'm stuck between utah toronto washington and of course the milwaukee bucks like i said before but yeah if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it we're almost at 30 subscribers and if not we're already there by the time i'm recording this but either way i would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel because you already know 2k central is your best place for anything and everything 2k also don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with a friend because they might need a my career planner too and otherwise i will talk to you guys later this has been your president president q and i am out